The Madre de Dios region of Peru has developed at a rapid pace, fueled first by logging and now by gold mining. The town of Puerto Maldonado, 600 miles east of Lima, is the epicenter. Its population has almost doubled in the last 10 years, and it sits astride the interoceanic highway that, when complete, will link Brazil's Atlantic coast to Peru's ports on the Pacific. A new suspension bridge is being built in Puerto Maldonado across the Madre de Dios River, replacing the many local ferries called chatas that crisscross the river, carrying people, cars, and freight. A local fisherman explains the impact of the bridge construction. Bueno, mi nombre es Wilber Chuktaya Farfán. Estamos acá en Madre de Dios, Puerto Maldonado. My name is Wilber Chuktaya Farfán. We're here in Madre de Dios, Puerto Maldonado. We're on the shores of the Tambopata River, where it meets up with the Madre de Dios River. And I am a fisherman. My job is to fish. I support myself by fishing. I think the bridge will benefit some people and will be a disadvantage for others. The good thing about the bridge is that we will be connected to our neighboring countries, Brazil and Peru. The bridge will hurt the people who run the barges that bring the cars across the river. These people have families. They live off this job. When the bridge is finished, I don't know what will happen to them. We are the minority. We don't have a voice or a vote because they don't pay attention to us. Other people say the bridge is progress, but they don't understand how it will affect other people. A lot of people are worried, especially the people who bring passengers from shore to shore. They'll be out of work. If they haven't saved, they will be lost. The fishermen are also affected by the construction of this bridge. In one place where they've begun to build the bridge, we've been fishing for 20 or 30 years. The elders always fished there, and now with the bridge, no one can fish in this spot. I used to fish out there, right where the bridge is now. I would throw out my net. I was making money like a doctor or an engineer. I would leave at 9 and come back at 11. I would come back with two Dorados that weighed 20 kilos each. That's 40 kilos. The price was 6 soles per kilo. I would make like 200 or 300 soles or 66 to 100 dollars. Now, no. Now everything has changed. Things aren't the same. The gold mining has ruined everything. Why? Because no one has been controlling the situation. One year ago, I was flying in an airplane. I hadn't been in an airplane for eight years. The first time I flew in from Cusco, eight years ago, I could see that everything was green. It was a green carpet. There were no destroyed areas. But now, eight years later, I flew up in an airplane and I realized what the mining has done. They have practically disfigured the face of Madre de Dios. They have made a cut, and not in her arms or on her leg, but directly on her face. Madre de Dios is cut open right now. She has a large cut across her face. The mining has destroyed everything and turned it into desert. <laughs>